The God boxes of Fusion Strike from Canadian distributors was a cover-up for the stolen Fusion Strike cards that were recently talked about literally everywhere. I'll tell you the truth. But first, we need to thank today's sponsor, us, Cardinal Gaming. If you go to the website, cardinalgaming.com, you can go and click on this link set here at the top. If you're looking for card singles, scroll a little further down, sealed product, not just for Pokemon, but for Flesh and Blood, Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, all those things will be right here, including live breaks if you want to participate in those. Scroll a, bit, a little bit further down, we have the big major events that we're doing, big 1Ks, including the one coming up for Pokemon on April the 15th, as soon as Scarlet and Violet is legal. We're running a big 1K event for that, so you don't want to miss that if you're local. And then a little bit further down, Cardinal merch. You got your hoodies, you got your play mats, and if you really love the Race Against Rotation series, you can buy your own little bulk lots right here, right off our website. CardinalGaming.com. Check it out. Hello, everybody. Mason here, Cardinal Gaming. Appreciate you guys clicking on the video, supporting the channel, supporting the store. You guys always do, so thanks so much. Now, this has been covered by everybody. L literally everyone that has made a video about Pokemon cards has talked about this. Uh, who am I to stop the trend and go against that? But uh, I have a theory. And I want you guys just to, to follow along. Just listen to, to what I got to say. Uh, again, this is a theory. I have no evidence. This isn't real. This is all just me making a, a midweek video that really you guys shouldn't even be watching. And just feel free to, to, to click off now. But just... The rest of you that want to hear it, say with me again. Just, just follow, follow the thoughts. Follow my, follow my, my, my lead, and understand, and just try to, try to think, and follow the, the, the mystery. And again, you guys already know, I kind of uh, blew the lead, but uh, we gotta bring out the tin foil for Dolor for this one. And remember, everything that is said with this hat on is not true. It's a joke. Please don't make some reaction video about this thinking that I'm actually telling the truth. This is not real. Or is it? Now, you guys know. Yes, everybody talked about this. We got covered in PC Gamer. It was covered in... Uh, what? Uh, did you know there's an Esports Illustrated? I didn't know. Uh, apparently it's a Sports Illustrated, like, e-version. They talked about it. Uh, Kotaku... We got uh, Porygon, uh, Poly Por Porygon. That's a Pokemon, Mason. We got Polygon, which kind of looks like a Porygon if you kind of look at the logo. Again, I might have to do another video about that. But just again, everybody's already talked about it. But you guys remember when Fusion Strike first came out? The the first print run had what was called God Boxes of Fusion Strike, right? And it was mostly from Canada, and we kept seeing pictures of boxes like these. Way too many hits, way too many hyper rares, right? Like the, the highest of highest echelon, not just like very generous with hits, not just a little bit extra. Multiple times over the amount of hits that should be even in a case, let alone in a single box. And we saw numerous numerous video of uh, pictures of this. Just you can type in Google Fusion Strike God Boxes and you'll see tons of pictures of people that have opened boxes and just got multiple, 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 multiples of these rainbow secret rares and uh, alt arts and, you know, higher end full arts, all these things out of a single box. And it was for a long time. It was, it was really talked about and people were like, we got to track them down. How can we find them? And that initially kind of put a kind of a damper on Fusion Strike because Fusion Strike was a, a set that had a lot of filler cards on it. Like you look at these, look at these V's that are in this set. You had Cinderace, Corbomitable, which is actually now playable, but wasn't at the time. The Serena. It had other like really, really bad just V's and just filler Pokemon. Appleton V, I think, was in Fusion Strike. Just a lot of just really, really bad Pokemon. And uh it was from a a a a starter deck that was in Japan and they kind of combined it into our our Fusion Strike. So Fusion Strike just had a lot of just doo-doo pulls in it that as far as like uh the the regular v's and then the the full arts were kind of meh and then look at these rainbow rares the chili chili Scylla, Scylla crest all the oh, yeah those those guys who wants that in a full in a rainbow 
schoolgirl and schoolboy, both equally unplayable, had a rainbow. Cindy, whose favorite uh, Pokemon uh, character is Sydney? Please, put in the comments below if you are a, a person that loves Sydney. But just a lot of just really bizarre choices in the set. And just not very good. You gotta remember, they took the Espeon VMAX from Evolving Skies into this set just to make it a, a little bit better. Because this was a an absolute stinker of a set when it came to like the good hits out of this box. And again, the 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 EV for these boxes were so low, and they came out at a time where stores were so eager to dump them because of all the the distribution pressure that we had trying to 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 pay for invoices and, and cover that uh, you know credit cards and things like that that we had to basically max out when celebrations fusion strike and it's the second wave of, of battle styles and and chilling rain and all the etbs and all this other stuff that was dumped on us we were in a, we were in hurting so if there is a chance for us to get a god box and get some decent hits out of this stuff even though they're not like oh boy you really this bolton v max rainbow is really gonna put us over a break even point it's not the point we, we were desperate and we were just looking for everything so we were checking out the serial numbers the the interior, interior numbers of that's on the inside of a booster box trying to figure out if you could see from the outside of a case which ones were good and bad it was a situation that at the distribution and the the lgs level was kind of kind of crazy because we were all just kind of like it could be it could be us we could we could be not losing money let's oh ooh, boy so the chase was on to try to open boxes and see if we had a, a god case or a god boxes out of these cases and ended up, a lot of them ended up going to Canada, and at the time, that was really not really well known, but uh, just whatever run of this, just a bunch of hits got put in a bunch of boxes at the end of the day. Now, again, evidence is, is scarce, but I think this run of booster boxes, and when they fed the secret rares into the hoppers and just messed this up, I think that, I think that was a cover-up. That was a cover-up for the, the, Later on, theft of all these other... Because look at all these hits. They're, they're not just VMAXs, things like that. They're just the highest tippy-top rarity of this box set. It's not just Vs. It's not a bunch of v, v, VMAXs. The best of the best of the hits in this box. The stuff that was stolen. So what a, a, a reasonable assumption for somebody to go, well, hey, we had a, a, an error in packing these packs... A lot of these hits, the higher super secret rares and higher rarities got in all these uh, booster packs, bundled up in all these booster boxes without being caught, and now they're out there, right? Did they know how many that they were missing? Did they have an idea? Probably not. I mean, how do you, how do you, you're not going to recall something like that. You can't really stop it, the entire process. Who knows how late in the, in the cycle that was? These boxes and packs could have been boxed, packed, and, and sent off into the warehouse and sitting there before they even noticed this may have been an issue. We don't know. What a perfect cover if you wanted to sneak out a bunch of these rainbows and alt arts. What a perfect scenario where you just maybe you wouldn't get you wouldn't get caught because you could kind of explain away where all these hits went. Oh, they must have just went in those bo more booster boxes and then and they were just they're out there now. There's nothing we can do while you're sneaking stuff out the back door. Kind of, kind of weird how this set has two instances of things going on with the highest rarities. I think, I think it's connected. I think it's it was intentional. It was deliberate. There's a deep undercover, uh, maybe a cult or uh, you know a cabal like type of, of scenario where this was mastermind from the inside. This was something that was a, a, a master plan thought up by only the greatest masterminds that work a, an assembly line job could come up with. And I really think that this is really, the, they're, they're, the lines are there. The connections can be made where both of these had influence over each other. And they may have gotten away with it if they were smart and it would have taken all these, these huge amounts of this card 
you know, going and opening up a, a, a TCG player account, that'd be too easy. Let's not do that. Let's not go and spread this out. No, let's just dump it on the literally the biggest, uh, probably, definitely the biggest store in Texas, but probably the biggest store in just the southern area of, of trading card world and, and see and make have them make an offer on literally hundreds of all the same cards. From the literal sleeve, these are the these are the sleeves that in the the videos of that they put out of how Pokemon cards are made, and I did a video on that, and and other people did as well. But these are the exact boxes that were stacked when they take the cards from cutting and transporting them to put them into the hoppers. The exact same things, like we saw them on the video. So, wow, right? Like just that's like. Next level dumb. Like, next level, like, silly. The, the, the mastermind that came up with the, 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 the whole, like, cover-up was covering up for, for people that just were not smart on the execution of what, what, uh, what was going on with the, the rest of the, the boost boxes. Because this is just, this is, this is silly. Who would do this? This is just, it's kind of goofy. You know, uh, it was definitely a, 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 a 10 out of 10 for execution of, of just being able to explain this situation and the missing cards away by saying, that, oh, they must be just in booster boxes somewhere. Well, good for them. They got lucky. We kind of screwed up. Haha, <laughs> sorry. And then the people that were, were, were scheduled with disposing of it were just like, yeah, let's just take them to the one place that we know can pay for it. Silly. Silly, silly, silly. But they're absolutely connected. There's, there's no way that anybody can tell me otherwise. It's just too too crazy of a scenario for this to to not be related. And I do think I do think this this is this was the the final straw for Pokemon. This was the final straw when all this started to unravel and this was starting to get inv investigated. Pokemon finally said, "We have to make act take action on this. We cannot rely on these print facilities to monitor themselves to police themselves. We have to do something." So they stepped in and basically. Bought a factory. They this 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 situation could have very well spearheaded and, and and spurred on the purchase of Millennium Print Group. That's like that's like this is this hat's almost like not kind of on but not on for that for that kind of theory because you have just so much at stake in these the situation and to see this this level of 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 theft happening is just kind of a is just it's crazy like that's that's too much. That's too much. This is too too big of an issue to to explain away. So, uh, very very interesting how this all just all took place at the same time, and and just all, everything was firing away, and we were just man, what a wild what a wild time in the hobby, fusion strike, and all that that uh, product dump and all this was happening, celebrations at the same time, just. Just what a wild time, and then for this to happen and to come out, you know, two years later is 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 just, it's just, it's just really hard to believe. That's my theory. I mean, that's that's my theory, and you can't prove me wrong, and you can't prove <laughs> you can't prove it to be true. If you guys sat through this, I appreciate you. Thanks so much. Thanks for liking the video. Go down in the comments. Let me know what you think. Give me a one out of five. How plausible is this? One being not plausible. Your 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 hat baked your brain, or uh, five out of five. Like yeah, this is exactly what happened. You're absolutely right. And there is a Illuminati esque cult that is basically running uh, all the print facilities for Pokemon. Let me know in the comments below. I appreciate you guys. Appreciate y'all clicking on the video. I'll, I'll, I'll see you in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Bye.